Good morning. Today we're going to evaluate a limit as x approaches negative infinity of the function e raised to the x minus e raised to the negative x divided by e to the x plus e to the negative x. Um, first we're going to look at the form. In the form as uh, x goes to negative infinity, e to the x goes to 1 over e to the infinity, which is 1 over infinity, which is 0. And e to the negative minus e to the negative x, well, the negative on the negative infinity and the negative on the, on the x cancel each other out. So we get e to the infinity, which is infinity. And then the same difference with this e to the x, we get a 0. And with this, we get a plus infinity. We have the indeterminate form infinity over infinity. So we have to do something. Um, I, the best way that I know how to do this, or the best approach uh, to start with, would be to uh, notice that I have uh, denominators. If this is actually a com uh, compound fraction. And I'll write it as such so that we can see it. So we have the limit as x goes to negative infinity over e to the x minus, and e to the negative x is 1 over e to the x divided by e to the x plus 1 over e to the x. So it's obvious we have a um, compound fraction here. In order to uh, eliminate the compound fraction, we multiply by the common denominator of the uh, numerators and the denominators. The, anyway, so we'll multiply by e to the x over e to the x. And when we do that, we get the limit as x approaches negative infinity. e to the x times e to the x is add the exponents like bases. e to the 2x, uh, e to the x minus e to the x over e to the x is 1 over uh, e to the x times e to the x is e to the 2x plus 1. So now we're going to look at the form again. Oops. And we get uh, 0 uh, minus 1 over 0 plus 1. Well, that's not in a determinate form. So we can now say that the limit as x approaches negative infinity of an equivalent function e to the 2x minus 1, e to the 2x plus 1. As e to the 2x goes to negative infinity, it goes to 1 over e raised to the uh, negative infinity, which is 0. Same difference here, so therefore we're left with negative 1 over 1, which is negative 1.